Hey everybody, Rob here. Just a quick note before we get started on this video. Make sure you watch it in its entirety because there are a couple things that I learned as I went on in the process that I had to go back and redo, so I don't want you to fall in that same trap. I made some notes in the video here, but watch the video all the way through before you get started. If you have any questions, you can message us in the comments there, you know, add a comment, and I'll be happy to answer your question there. So, let's roll. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob and today this is part two of our RV captain's chairs renovation. If you've watched part one you will know that our leather seats were falling apart completely. All the material was coming off the surface of all of our seating in the coach. And we replaced our dinette. I'll show you what we replaced that with in another video but we're going to focus on the captain's chairs. In the last video I pulled everything apart because uh, it, I wanted to film that. It was the first time I'd ever done it and if you're watching this video chances are it's going to be the first time you did it as well. The good thing is it was very easy to do and uh, what I ended up then with was this bare foam seat and a bunch of plastic. I'll show you what I'm going to use to replace that plastic but first let's take a look at the leather itself. So I had these covers made at our bison factory. They make motorcycle road racing suits for us for bison track gear. And uh, this was the first set of seat covers that they did. So um, we're very excited about these for more than one reason, because not only are they going to replace our seats and, and make them look a lot nicer, but we also planning to offer those to you. So if you're watching this video, um, we'll definitely post some information so that you can get a set of these yourself if you like the way that they look. And we can customize them too. They don't have to look just like this. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping the seat. Now the first thing I'm going to do is replace that plastic that I talked about. It had pretty much disintegrated underneath the leather, you know, years and years of being shuffled on and off uh, between the leather and the foam just wore that plastic apart. So I'm going to replace it. I asked you guys at the interior shop, I said, hey, do you have some stuff that I can buy? They said, actually just use painter's plastic. And guess what? We've got a lot of that around here because we've been doing a lot of painting. So I'm taking a wadded up used uh, painter's plastic piece. I'm gonna cut it up, put it over the seat, and then we'll recover it. So let's get started by replacing the plastic. All right, so like I said, this is just used plastic. It was actually on the dashboard of our coach while we were doing all the painting. So it doesn't have any paint on it, but it is pretty dusty. I tried to shake it out as much as I could outside, but what we wanna do is put this around all the foam surfaces on the seat and the reason we're doing that is because the leather will want to stick to this foam as you put it on and it's important that you have a slippery surface that way the leather can slide on and get into the right position i've got some painters tape here on this plastic this is going to be the biggest challenge oh i tore it that's not a huge deal <laughs> look nobody's ever going to see this this is just for me to know that that's torn and that's okay oh, there's another tear Dang it, that's okay, that's okay. So I'm gonna wrap it down to the bottom of the seat back. There we are. And then uh, we'll just cut it. Be careful not to cut the seat foam, not like it's a huge deal, but uh, hey, with my luck, I would cut the foam and something would happen years down the road related to that. You know, the seat would just fall apart. You know, the seat project has been stressful because we can't leave until we have functioning front seats back in our coach, right? Uh, we gotta have a driver's seat. So um, this has been a little bit stressful. All right, so I wanna position this hole here. We have a flat to go through there, through that slot. Get everything in position. Okay, so I've got the plastic fitted to the seat, as you can see, and I'm going to start by installing the seat bottom because that's the first section that's going to get hog rings put on. Hog rings, in case you're wondering, hog rings are these guys, and uh, they're basically clamps. You will know from having taken the seat apart by this point what a hog ring is, but you're going to need some hog ring pliers. I got this kit from Unique Auto Upholstery here in Wichita. It was about nine bucks and uh, it came with a metric ton of uh, hog rings and also some pliers. So I'm gonna put the seat bottom on, wrap it around, hopefully everything fits right, and then I can clamp it into place. So 
So if I can just get the J hook started, then we're gonna be in a good spot. But uh, it's a little tight, as I figured it would be. Let's flip the seat over, take a look at the bottom. Not so, so bad. It's actually, this is a lot better having it flipped over. And uh, we're hooked. All right. There's a lot of anxiety here because we've spent a lot of money and a lot of time and really put all our eggs into this basket of <laughs> having these seat covers uh, on the seats before we go. And there's not really any room for error because if these don't fit, if these don't fit, we're kind of going to be rolling just foam seats, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I, I don't even want to think about that actually at this point. So, Ooh, I like the click. The click is good. All right. Now pull this other hook around. I'm going to turn the camera here and just give you an idea of what I am looking at here. Okay, so I flipped the seat over. I've got the seat bottom. I started the uh, J hook at the front here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this hook around and these are going to buckle to these bars here. Uh, obviously, again, you'll have seen that on part one of the video or of this process, I guess you could say. The tricky part on this side is you have this handle in place. So <clears throat> I wanna get this one on first because I can just foresee that being a pain in the butt. The tighter this thing gets. It's already a pain, actually. I'd probably be better off taking the, uh, the frame off the seat. This is where that plastic comes into play. because There's actually there's no plastic on this side now. It got wadded up. The leather's really grabbing the foam, which is kind of making it a pain, but we are getting it there. Okay, so I'm gonna pause a second and let you know that if you have a helper, available it's probably be good to help them or have them help pull the leather over while you do this part this is a bear all right i've shedded my sweater at this point <laughs> just because this one clip uh we're very close very close actually i'm going to use these hog ring pliers just stick under there and see if i can pry this thing over just got to get it over the bar here Yep, that did it. Roll the whole thing over. And then work to snap it in. All right, we're going to call that one good for now. Now let's get this other side on. All right, so this is the back of the seat. I need to pull this flap over, and this is where I'm going to apply the first hog rings here as I wrap this around. But first, I'm gonna flip the seat, make sure everything's where it needs to be. Not gonna lie, we have a little bit of a fitment issue with the J hooks not being in quite the right spot. They could be further back. And I hope that's just the positioning of where the J hooks are sewn on, as opposed to um, you know the seat cover actually being the wrong shape but we'll find out. Okay, so I've got the seat bottom mostly on here. I'm just gonna give it some tugs now and just kind of wrap it up the seat. Also, I've got these flaps at the back I'm gonna grab and really cinch them back. And the seat's pretty much in position. It actually feels and looks really good. So uh, obviously you got some breaking in to do, but the fit is pretty dang good. So I'm happy thus far. So now I'm gonna flip it back over and hog ring the back of the seat bottom into place. All right, so I'm going to pull the flat back as much as I can. I have a bar here that I'm going to place the seat. Pull the leather up, place it along that bar, and push it around. Okay, so I got the seat bottom wrapped around this bar. And now it's time to hog ring. So what we're going to do is place the ring around this bar. And then uh, we're going to put our clamps right on over the top and uh, squeeze down. So this is how the ring sits in the pliers. And I'll show you here as we just put the first one on. We go right down the middle. Squeeze. 
and it is uh, <laughs> ain't going anywhere. <laughs> so I'm going to put five of those here, just like they were from the factory, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, through this whole process, I've been telling you I'm not a professional at this. That's very obvious. I made a slight mistake, and this is super easily fixable, but uh, these flaps, these flaps for the seat back, they actually go underneath the seat bottom. So I'm going to disconnect the seat bottom, run these flaps, and then I'll go back over them. But I just want to let you know, uh, I'm not immune to making mistakes on this deal. Further proof that I have no idea what I'm doing, but I appreciate you joining along and watching as... I learned the ins and outs for you. So let's take those rings out. Okay, so I've got five hog rings in the center. I'm going to pull this tight and put one ring in it. Uh, well, that was one ring from the factory. Maybe I'll put two uh, just to be safe. <laughs> so I'll do that on both sides, fold these ears over and, uh, and lock those in place. Okay, so I've got the flaps pulled around and actually I think one hog ring is going to be just fine there. So we are going to leave that. But I need to put these sides down, so I'm going to pull these across and ring these guys. Okay, so I've got the seat bottom pretty much on where I want it to be for the time being. Got it all ringed in place. Now I'm going to put the seat back on and uh, get that guy where it needs to be. And uh, we'll start to see this thing take shape. Super exciting. Okay, I want to start by turning this inside out because if you try to slide this on all as one piece, it doesn't really work out it's so hot. Um, Turning it inside out allows you to kind of roll it on, which works a lot better, even with the plastic in place. So when I turn it inside out, you're going to see, this is the uh, flap that I accidentally ripped off, and uh, while I was taking the seat apart anyway, we wanted to reuse those, so uh, I had to take that to the upholstery shop, and that's what they ended up stitching on. So this is going to pull the seat tight in the center. You'll see once I get the cover on why it's important for cosmetic, uh, purposes and also for functionality. So I'm going to start by wrapping the cover around here. It's actually a little too inside out. Let's see. Okay. So start by putting the cover on. Nope, that's wrong. <laughs> okay. So to set the cover here, I'm going to go ahead and put this flap through the hole in the plastic and then through the hole in the foam. Because I'll need to feed that through at the end. <clears throat> All right, again, keeping in mind, I'm not a professional on this one. I'm kind of learning as I go, and you're right here with me along for the ride. <laughs> so, all right, now I'm just gonna slide the top section on here, see if we can get it in position. Boy, that plastic is a lifesaver going on here. You can see I got bound up right down here because there's no plastic over that one bolster. That one little area stopped all my progress. 
So that's how critical the plastic is in this process, guys. Um, definitely want to uh, cover all the foam possible. So that slides on nicely. These strings will come into play a little bit later, so I want to have those out. And at this point, start shifting, make sure that the seat is the cover is centered on the seat because that's not something you want to adjust later. Wow, that fits really good. Okay, I'm going to tuck the flap down the center. And start pulling, just like I did with the seat bottom, start pulling from the center and the edges. Get this thing cinched all the way down. You can see we've got this bubble in the center of the seat, that's where this flap comes in to pull everything into place. Now I can reach up in between the two cushions and start pulling that center down. And there's my flap and my strings that were up top. They've now come through to the bottom. And we've got the sides here to tuck down. And lastly, the back section. This is where I've got that J hook here. I'm gonna have to wrap around and connect and that'll get us started and we'll hog ring everything. Looking good, very happy, very happy. Okay, so on the sides of the seat here, uh, I've got the seat back and everything ringed. Now these covers, are these side flaps of the seat, um, seat back, they are going to come down the sides. But what you're going to do is take this ear and fold it in on itself. Okay, so that comes inside that flap. Then we're going to pull it tight across here. So this ear is going to come up front and get hooked. Let's see here. I'll show you this a little better. Okay. All right, so we've folded this outer flap of the ear underneath. That's where that goes. I'm gonna pull it taut. And then this cable here, this ear, or this cord, I guess, coming off the ear, pulls up, and this is where it attaches uh, up halfway up the J, uh, the J clip there. So I'm gonna get my ring pliers. By the way, if you're doing a job any bigger than this, I would recommend a different set of pliers. These are already starting to give me blisters. <laughs> and uh, I'm only through one seat. So definitely recommend a different type of pliers. But these are cheap and they're getting the job done anyway. So I need to just suck it up, I guess. Okay, at this point I've got all the hog rings on. Uh, everything's pretty much working like it should. <laughs> Let's see here. Yep, tracks are good. So now all I lack is just pulling this uh, this last J hook into position. And if that works, then we got ourselves a seat. Oh wait, almost forgot again about the center flap. Okay, so now I've got to pull the center flap that we talked about, pull it tight and up the back of the seat so that I can attach it here. This bar. <clears throat> so this flap would have been easier to put on before I had the seat back attached, but that's okay. I can still get it.
<laughs> you know, I'm doing everything the hard way here, but I am learning a little bit better the process that I need to go through. And again, that's what we're here for. I ah, got it. Boy, really recommending gloves for this uh, pliers job. <laughs> it's just not a lot of fun. I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow to do this other seat because uh, this is rough. <clears throat> now we're going to attach this J-hook. Woo! I did it. That wasn't too bad. Um, now I want to go put it up front and see what it looks like. everybody so there you have it the uh, seat cover replacements went pretty dang smooth and I definitely recommend it it made our coach feel so much more comfortable and so much newer I, I mean it it made it feel like a brand new coach those seats were so bad prior so I highly recommend replacing the seat covers in your coach you can do this by contacting an auto upholstery shop near you or you can reach out to us and we can have some seat covers made for you if you have the same model seats that we did in our Thor Outlaw. So uh, thank you all for watching and stay tuned. Make sure you click the subscribe and the bell notification button. Stay tuned for more how-to videos. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next one.